Alright guys, here we have my newest jet. It's an F-15. I got it from a company I said I wouldn't buy from anymore. Um, but I didn't buy a ready-to-fly, a plug-and-play, or anything. I just bought the airframe only. Uh, I had all the electronics needed to build this jet. Uh, so I did get this jet from Nitroplanes, but it was an airframe only. It's just a little bit over 40 bucks. So this jet pretty much cost me 40 bucks to get built and flying. It took a couple hours to build because it was the airframe only. I had to put in everything and make sure everything was set up. It's going to run on a 4 cell pack and a 64 millimeter fan. Let me show you some of the uh, poor quality of nitro planes though. Let's see if you can see this right here. I don't know how easy this is to see, but right here, it's uh, damaged and fixed up and repainted. Over on the wing here, we got some paint smudge. A couple other little paint smudges on it. So, you're not going to get quality paints. You're not going to get quality hardware, or really quality anything, in my experience, from Nitroplanes. That's just my experience, uh, what I've dealt with from them. And... Uh, I emailed them about this problem, we'll see what they say back, I'm just anyways, curious. I mean, this is running on a 4 cell setup. In here we have a steerable nose servo, have our 4 cell battery pack compartment. I'm going to be running this on a 16, 1600 milliamp. It will fit a 2200 milliamp, so I might use that too, uh, but I plan to just use the 1600s in this jet. We've got our ailerons. Our elevators have a lot of throw. I used, uh, I think it was uh, S60s for the ailerons. Yeah, S60s for the ailerons by E-Flight. The elevators, I just used some uh, servos that came on the other jet that I put the parts in this one. Got a 45 amp ESC that came in the other jet and a 64 millimeter fan in there. And on the bottom, it's just uh, the wires are covered with this plate. All the wires are up under there. And the ESC's got great cooling sitting out in the open. And then, of course, we just got our steerable nose gear. So it's all set up and ready to fly. I'll try to get a flight of this for you guys soon. I expect it to fly pretty good. I have seen flight videos of this uh, jet in the air, and it looks like it flies pretty good. So, uh... Hopefully it does. I've upgraded it. Like I said, it's usually a three cell, I think, set up. I did put a little bit extra braces into the wing. I put some toothpicks, a couple of them, uh, going from the fuse to the wings on either side to help hold on those wings better. And uh, same thing with the elevators. I didn't do it on the vertical stabs, but they already had some notches that looked like it would hold on good. Hopefully I don't regret not doing it on those but I did do it on the wings and the uh, horizontal stabs. So uh, that's the F-15, ready for flight. So we'll try to get this up in the air, the MiG-15 up in the air, which I added wheels to, and I still gotta get my Synapse fixed. It's uh, The motor's pulsing on me, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with that. But we got these three pl uh, jets to get up in the air for you guys soon, and uh, hopefully we'll get them up soon and get some videos up. So there's the F-15 and uh, running out of four cell setup.